Hey guys, I'm back. Let's get hard into getting this menu working, okay? So first thing I want you to do is we're going to go to our game mechanics folder we created in the last video. We're going to open up our player blueprint. We're going to go back into UI, our options menu, and we're going to open the video one and the options menu, okay? So first things first, we want to go onto the video button and we're going to get this to spawn. Okay, actually, you know what? I made a mistake in the last video, and I apologize. Uh, this scale box, we're going to delete the scale box. Okay, actually, no, we don't want to delete the scale box yet. We want to take the menu handler out of it, drag it so it's over top with that line, drop it in. Now we can delete the scale box. Now click on this menu handler, and we got to reposition this. Um, so what we need to do, I'm going to do it full screen. I'm going to compile it. Now I'm going to go offset left. I'm going to do 400. And the reason being is I want 50 here, the 300, and then an extra 50 over top of that. So that's from the left. Top's going to be 50. And then right is going to be nothing. Actually, no, I'm gonna, I'll make right 50 as well. And then the bottom is going to be 50 as well. So now we have the line... Uh, everything's perfectly lined up and it looks good uh, so that's what we'll start off with there is fixing that I apologize for that error I was tinkering with it before I uh, decided to make this video I deleted everything and started from scratch because I knew what my error was uh, so now we're gonna make the video button make the video menu uh, so what we're gonna do is go to the vid the video button we're gonna click uh, on clicked for the video uh, drag in your menu handler and if you don't have this one go back uh, I advise you guys to follow through the whole tutorial series because uh, this all just makes sense if you're tagging along from the first step uh, go from your menu handler and the first thing we want to do is just in case there's already a menu in there we're gonna clear the children okay And then what we're going to do is we're going to add a child. But between there, we need to create a widget. And this one is going to be our video settings widget. All right, and then we're just going to add it to the content and wire it all up like that. And we're good to go. Uh, so now, since we're already in here, let's go back to the designer and we'll click the audio one and we'll do the same exact thing but spawn the audio so we'll take this copy all this down here we'll wire this up and this is going to be the audio oh I didn't make the audio one interesting okay I must not have saved it let's see here audio Save options menu. There it is. Now we have the audio. Okay. So now what this is going to do is when we click this and this, it's going to pop the menu up. But you know what? Let's 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 make something visible first of all here. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to close my audio one and I'm going to go into my video one. First thing we want to do is delete the canvas panel. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go to a scale box, or uh, yeah, a scale box. We're going to drop that in here, and then we need a horizontal. And then we need two verticals. Okay, so now for the scale box, we're going to go to fill. Okay, the horizontal we're also going to fill. The vertical needs to go in with the horizontal. Okay, so this is going to go left, fill. And this one's going to go to the right, and fill. Okay, so now what we are going to do here is I'm going to name this one text nav. Nave, text nave, 
Vortex Nav. And then this one's going to be Sliders. Compile. Okay. Now I need text. Well, we need some text in this text one. So we're going to do seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So this is going to, we're going to rename this brightness. Two is going to be view distance. F2, and this one is going to be resolution. F2, this one is going to be anti aliasing. This one's going to be post processing. This is going to be shadow quality. And this is going to be effects quality. Now I got to name those accordingly in the actual text. So I'm going to highlight all these first, and we want a size that's going to be nice. So I'm going to do 36, and I am going to go brightness, and I'm going to change this to brightness, view distance. <laughs> I've named it Resolution. Resolution. Anti aliasing. Aliasing. But I don't need two eyes. Post processing. Ah, uh, what's this shadow quality? And effects quality. Okay. Now in the next box, we're going to get a bunch of sliders. So I'm going to minimize this one. I'm going to drop that in there. One. Two. Three, four, whoops, five, six, seven. Okay. Now we're going to highlight all of these and we're going to set the size of them to 36 because that's the size of our text. Now there's something going on with this box, so let's try to figure out what's going on here. Why doesn't this one want to press against this one? <laughs> that is very interesting. Very, very, very interesting. Okay, well maybe we need to adjust the size of these. Say 50. Nope. Let's do 10. That's the bars. Okay. Just hold on a sec here. Let me figure out what the heck's going on here. But first I'm going to make this five for the bar thickness, okay? I gotta figure out why this isn't uh, pulling up with it. So let's do auto. There we go, change it to auto. We got her now, we're in business. Okay, so now let's get all these sliders. And we need to adjust the size so they line up. So let's do 60. That almost did her exactly, 55. Okay. Now if you look, everything's so close to the words. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to add a spacer in between. Okay. Now we're going to take this spacer and we're going to make it 
fair size. We're going to spread this out. Uh, looks like 20 is our number. Now everything isn't lining up again. So let's take our sliders. I'm sorry guys. This, I'm not scripting this. I'm doing this just off my knowledge. Compile, save, play. Let's see if this options video. You know what? That's doing alright. Audio, video. It's doing alright. Okay. Um, let's make it a little bit. Let's make them a little bit bigger here then. Let's do 60. Okay, now let's hit play. Whoops. That's getting better. Getting better. We'll work on it. We'll get there. Okay, so the first things first. Let's start naming these so we have some variables. So this is going to be brightness. Why didn't it work? Okay, brightness. Uh, let's do S for slider brightness. Uh, F2 S uh, view distance. So VD. F2 S space resolution. F2 S space AA for anti aliasing. F2 space uh, S space. Uh, PP for post processing, F2 S underscore uh, space uh, shadow quality SQ and effects quality S underscore EQ or uh, space EQ. Sorry. Now, what we want to do for each and every one of these is we're going to cast them to our controllers. So we're going to click on this one. I'm going to go over here. On value change. Okay. All right, guys. Sorry. Uh, I know there's going to be a most indefinite, uh, obvious cut job in this video. Um, so anyway, what I had to do, I got off track. Uh, what I had to do is because I couldn't get this to cast to our our uh, BP player controller, our custom controller. Um, now, for those that already have a custom controller, you probably already have a game mode. Uh, for those that don't, you do need to make a custom game mode. So that's all. That's easy. Just blueprint class, game mode base, uh, create it, open it, and then once you get into that, you can change your player controller class to our BP player controller, or your custom controller. Now, we have the functionality of what we're trying to accomplish here. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to get owning player, and this is off the brightness uh, on value change slider. We're going to cast to BP player controller. Okay. Now from that cast, we are going to set brightness, and then we're going to adjust the brightness. Okay, so once this, uh, we're actually going to take this value and plug it into here, and delete this excess stuff. Uh, like I said, there's a warning comes with this brightness setting, it does affect the engine as well. Um, it is not brightness, but it is gamma, which is the same concept, but more of an outcome for the result. Uh, so let's test her out so if we hit play we go to options we go to video and we're going to do a brightness see what i mean there it adjusts the whole the whole kit and caboodle uh so before you quit set her to about a right a good level and then uh then you can quit it if not it's going to stay dark 
So this is what we're going to do for all of these sliders. So what we're going to do is for each slider, we're going to go on value change. So we got brightness. Uh, let's do the next one is uh, anti-aliasing. So on value changed. Then we're just going to copy this. Control W. Okay, see how my it's kind of darker actually. So now we're doing now we're doing uh, anti-aliasing. Just anti-aliasing, and we're gonna do anti-aliasing value. Set anti-aliasing value. So it's this. It's the same exact setup as uh, it was before. So I'm gonna pause this right here and get these all done. Just do your cast and then set that according to what scroller you're adjusting. Okay? I'm going to pause this here and I'll be right back. Alright, after you're done doing it to all the sliders, you should have something that looks like this. Now, I got tired of doing the get controller cast to controller. So what I did was on the event construct, cast to, and then turned it into a uh, variable, and then just used the variable. I found that a lot easier. So your end result, if you look, if you hit play on on your video options here, you should see your end result does this. So we do our view distance. That doesn't do much. That actually affects uh, foliage, foliage, and uh, shadows and whatnot. Uh, the LODs for shadows. Uh, the most uh, resolution we can change the complete resolution um, make it really clear I'm gonna put her about mid because I run a piece of crap laptop as you can see my graphic cards already glitching out anti-aliasing everything should work just like this post-processing shadow quality can see the difference like down in his crotch and in his armpits you can see the difference happening uh, effects that really lags the computer out because that's doing particles and everything um, so I'm going to drop or increase my resolution here and I'm going to hit back okay now I'm probably hitting my 20 minute mark so we now we got this happening next video I'm going to show you how to save it and load it okay now, uh, yeah, so anyway, Richard here, thank you for following along. Uh, next video, we're going to save load variables. Uh, that's going to be all in the player controller. Hit that subscribe button. Keep, keep up to date here and uh, follow along. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it.